If your brakes are sinking to the floor when you step on the pedal, then today's your lucky day. Because I'm going to show you how to fix that. Whoa! Now brake pedals sink to the floor because the brake system is losing pressure. The first thing you want to do is check for leaks. Check all the wheels to see if there's any fluid leaking there. Now this Nissan's pretty easy to check at the wheels because it's got these slotted hubs. There's nothing leaking on this side, or inside here on this side, or inside the front left wheel, or the front right wheel. They're all dry inside where the brake caliper is. And when I look under the car, I don't see any brake fluid leaking anywhere down on any of the hoses or lines. Now that generally means that the brake master cylinder here is leaking inside. When old, they often leak like a leaking heart, where they'll leak inside themselves. They won't have any external leaks, but the inside leaks and makes the pedal go down. Now, since we couldn't find anything leaking anywhere, odds are the master cylinder's gone bad inside and we're going to replace it. But if you have a newer car than this that has anti-lock brakes, you're going to have to check the anti-lock brake system too, especially if the ABS light is on, because the ABS system can also leak inside themselves in the modulator and cause the same problem. But this car doesn't have ABS, so it's got to be the master. Now slip an old pan under the car, so it'll catch any brake fluid that leaks. Then I've all the lines, and to get the lines off, I find these crow foot wrenches work really good. This is a 10 millimeter. You just stick it over the line where the bolt is and pull. Then you get the rest off with your fingers. It's easy then. Take all the lines off. In this case, we're going to use a pry bar because we got to use the canister over because it doesn't come with one. Ah. Then we take the two bolts off that hold the master cylinder on. And off it comes. Ah. Then we get the new master cylinder and bolt that on. Put the two bolts on tight that hold it in place. Get them nice and tight, uh, uh. then snap the reservoir uh, back on nice and tight, and then fill it up with clean brake fluid. And then comes a trick I learned years ago. I'm going to bleed it just at the master cylinder so we don't have to mess with the wheels. And you do it like this. You just start the lines and put them on finger tight. If you're like me and work by yourself, get a long screwdriver to bleed the brakes out with. Push down on the brake pedal with a giant screwdriver. Then wedge the other end against the seat and pull the seat up, uh, and that pushes the brake pedal in tight. So that holds the brake pedal strong against the floor, and then you tighten up all the lines. Just get your wrench and tighten all the lines up. Uh. Then once the lines are tight, you release the seat. That makes the pedal go back up in the air. So we open all the lines again a little bit. Then we repeat the bleeding again, sticking the screwdriver against the brake pedal, and pushing the seat forward. And we repeat this process five or six times until the pedal gets hard. And now we've got a nice strong brake pedal that stops like mad. So if your brake pedal is starting to sink to the floor, now you know how to fix it yourself. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them if I ever make it out of this Mayan jungle alive.